Now to the weather watch and a live look outside at Grand Park. Blue sky, sunny now. No dusting of anything, you know, yet. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> gorgeous out, but but what portends in the future? This 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 messy Saturday we've been talking about. Right, Saturday snow is on the way. In fact, a winter storm watch has been issued for Saturday. It starts at 11 a.m. in DeKalb County, and now the Weather Service does include Cook and Kane and DuPage. That starts at 1 in the afternoon. And it goes through the evening hours on Saturday. Right now, it looks like the best concentration for that snow to accumulate would be for these areas shaded in blue. And the highest amounts perhaps along the Wisconsin border, but I did bring down this swath of blue because there are some uncertainties in the storm track and as far as the exact areas where those heavier snow bands may set up. So we could still see accumulating snow even just south of Chicago. So we're going to watch for that. When does it all start? Well, really mid afternoon through the evening on Saturday is going to be the height of this and the activity should probably focus mostly along I 88 and places north. The impacts impacts would be slushy roads, poor visibility, even the chance of some thunder snow. So let's enjoy this evening before that arrives. We have a dry west wind at 18, a 62 degree temperature. Those winds keep gusting out of the west and northwest, pulling that dry air in place. That's why our skies have cleared out. We've turned off the lake breeze. It's 62 downtown, 63 in Aurora. And as we go through the night, skies are clear leading into it, and temperatures will bottom out in the 40s. Then things start to change, and Futurecast shows that as we go through the early morning hours, the high clouds move in. We're still dry at 7 a.m., but by 10 a.m., we see rain moving in, a hint of a change over to snow in McHenry County. And then that snow by noon starts spreading to the lakefront, and it hangs around much of the afternoon, much of the evening. Here's 10 o'clock tomorrow night before it all pushes out, leaving your sun. Sunday just fine. So the wider picture shows the storm track. There were some model discrepancies of how far north it would jog, and now it looks like it's favoring to the south. That would allow some snow to accumulate perhaps around O'Hare Airport and maybe even into the city. And then that system moves out. High pressure starts to move in. So as far as amounts go, again, we have early model amounts showing that at 10 a.m. there is nothing, but then during the day, those areas favored are to the north. But again, this could change as the system gets closer to us. But it looks like Wisconsin could see some snow out of this as well, just as that low pressure center moves in. So tonight, fine. Tomorrow morning, early, we're fine. After lunch through sunset, that's going to be the height of this. And then on Sunday, we're dry and quiet. The sun comes back, and Saturday will just be a bad dream, I think, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We hope. Yes. Mary Kay, thank you.